as looking at this, my teacher is a duck. Okay. Um, so when you guys are looking at this, it says find you know, g prime of negative 3. So automatically, again, it's, it did also say, sorry, f and g are inverses. Sorry about that. I probably should have told you guys that, and I forgot to write that down. So f and g are inverses, and that probably said you probably would have helped you out as well, right? But that's at least the intent that I want you guys to have. So automatically, guys, if I'm, low, if I'm talking about f and g, they're inverses of each other, then I know, well, then g of negative 3, whatever that is, let's find g of negative 3. g of negative 3 equals 7. And let's double check that. Does f of 7 equal negative 3? You guys see how that works on the table? g of negative 3 is 7. f of 7 is negative 3. Right? OK, so good. So there's nothing wrong with our table. It's working fine. Um, but if I want to find f prime of negative 3, that's what I'm equaling to. We know that that is going to be equal to the reciprocal of f prime of what? 7. So I'm not looking for f of 7, but I just wanted to do that to make sure I knew the relationships. I'm looking for f prime of 7, which is L duce. So 1 half. Who got 1 half? Ooh, 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 ooh. OK, all right, there you go. Moving on up in the world. But does that make sense or not? Because we can spend more